Hello and welcome, my name is Von Clayton Gaming, and today we are going to be ranking Overwatch characters, but not on how good they are. We are going to be ranking them on who is the most fun to play. We're gonna go left to right, starting off with the tanks. First character we have D.Va. Now D.Va I like playing quite a lot. She is pretty fun, although I'm not really sure she has any abilities that make her overly fun other than her ult, which of course is a giant bomb. I'm getting C tier vibes because although she is fun, I don't always choose to play her. Uh, her shotgun, I mean her whole kit is kind of basic feeling. Doomfist. Doomfist is actually pretty fun to play because he isn't the best character in the game. He is kind of weak, which makes him kind of harder. I think he might be a little more fun to play than D.Va, so we're gonna put him in B tier. He's not super up there. I feel like a lot of people would disagree on that. Doomfist is definitely pretty fun. It's fun to run around punching people, but his viability kind of hurts that. Junker Queen, okay, let's try and be reasonable here. Now, I actually really like Junker Queen. I don't know if she's really all that fun to play. If I'm doing D.Va in C tier, I guess Junker Queen will have to be C tier as well but I do enjoy her more than Doomfist. The most controversial character of all time at the moment, we have Mauga. <laughs> now, everything about Mauga makes his character and his personality fun, but his actual kit is really kind of limited. It's just like two miniguns, a charge, and his ult is all right. But I do enjoy playing him. I'm gonna put him as B tier. Orisa is fairly enjoyable. I'm thinking C tier for the most part. I'm going like really middle of the road for a lot of these people. But Orisa is not incredibly fun. I do choose to play her very often, but it has a lot more to do with her being pretty good. But as far as like raw fun, she's a, a very operational C level. Ramatra. Now, Ramatra, I think I'm gonna go with a B tier on this one. I do think he's a little more fun than the other ones just because his nemesis form and the fact that you like kind of transform and become this different person. And then his ult is pretty crazy. It's just a aura of doom and death, which is of course quite good. So I think I'm gonna go with a B tier for him. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna regret a lot of these. All right, we have Reinhardt. Reinhardt is pretty up there. I think he's actually gonna be a B tier. And you know what, now that I'm thinking of it, I think Maga is going into A tier because he is a little more fun. And honestly, Doomfist I think can go up there with him. We need to get a little separation going on and be a little more clear about these. But Reinhardt is definitely a solid B tier. He's fun, but he can be frustrating. He can be frustrating. He feels a little limited sometimes, but swinging the hammer is addictive and when you get pins it feels really satisfying roadhog i think is probably gonna be in the same tier as reinhardt kind of for the same reason a lot of satisfaction going on especially since his rework he's a lot better whole hog is really fun especially when you blast people off and landing hooks feels fantastic sigma i think is actually gonna be our first D tier. Although Sigma is really good, I really love playing Sigma, and I think he's super satisfying to play. His accretion is a super satisfying ability, but as far as things go, he's not exactly a thrilling character to play, so I think I'm actually gonna put him in D tier. I think he's less fun than some of these others. Accretion is really the only satisfying thing, and his ult is pretty crazy, but I do think he's a really good tank, so I would put him much higher for his actual performance. All right, we have Winton. Winton is pretty high on the fun factor just because he is Winton himself. He's good for a ton of memes. Although his actual gameplay, I think, uh, I think I might have to put him C tier. Really, his ult is super fun. You just become a crazy, enraged monkey and swing around, and then you also have his jump, which is really good, but his primary is super boring. His shield is boring. Wrecking Ball. Okay, this might be a little controversial. I am, like, really tempted to put him as our first S tier. I love playing Wrecking Ball. I think swinging around is so satisfying. I I think he is probably one of the most fun tanks to play. I think that makes him S tier. He might get demoted, 
he might not be as fun as some of the other things, but as far as tanks go, I think he is probably the most fun tank next to, like, Mauga at the moment. And Mauga, by the way, is mainly really fun because he's broken at the moment. Once Mauga becomes kind of a mid-choice, he's probably not going to be as fun. I think Wrecking Ball, as far as his actual gameplay goes, I'm going to do S tier for now. Why not? He is fun. He's a great little meme. He's adorable. And swinging around is a blast. I love the geometry game. Zarya, I, I'm actually gonna go pretty low on Zarya. I think uh, I'm gonna go like F tier, honestly. She, I really don't enjoy playing Zarya personally. Now, I know she's really good. Her Graviton Surge is nice and it's cool when you get fed. But other than that, Zarya is like my least desirable tank that I play. I don't enjoy Zarya, but I have been learning her and playing her because she's a solid counter pick to a lot of things. That wraps it up for our tanks. What what do you think? Do you disagree? Do you agree? Are we doing good so far? Stay tuned. Let's do some DPS. Okay, Ash is pretty fun. Ash is very satisfying. Every time I play Ash, I don't know why I don't play her more. I think C tier is pretty appropriate for her though. Bob is a cool ability, but it's not that fun. Her knockback is interesting. I think her rifle might actually be the most fun thing she has, and it can be really satisfying. She's just a good character, but as far as fun goes, I don't know. Admittedly, I don't play Bastion the same way a lot of people play. People tend to go Bastion when they're like losing and they kind of just need like an emergency pumper. I don't really, I'm actually going to go D tier for Bastion. I don't know. His kit is kind of satisfying. It's cool to turn into a minigun, but Bastion, especially now, is just a super basic character. He just does nothing but shoot and now he has like a grenade and his ult is a bomb so he's just like shooting and blowing things up and I don't even really like him for like an emergency desperado pick so I'm gonna go with D tier Bastion doesn't do a whole lot for me. Cassidy's gonna be pretty high for me, actually. I don't really think I can quite put him A tier, but I'm gonna do a solid B. His roll is very nice. It's a good evasive move. It's super satisfying just with his, his strap, his gat, the revolver. I do like the six shooter. All right, you know what? I'm moving him up to A. <laughs> I like it because it just feels a little like, I don't know, like I'm cosplaying a cowboy boy I guess there I said it fine it's got like a lot of solid personality although it is kind of like overplayed cowboy gimmicks it is very satisfying to hit shots his nade is super easy to use you just throw it and it hooks on people it's so broken his roll is definitely satisfying and then his ult is also pretty amazing and in the last couple seasons he was my main for a while so you know what Cassidy's pretty up there for me echo is a strange one I'm th I think I'm gonna have to go with C. Echo is a character that I feel like should be really good and probably kind of is. For some reason, Ash and Echo are kind of in the same category where it's like, these characters are really good, they have a lot of great utilities, but there's something about them that doesn't really incline me to play them a lot, but I never really find myself picking Echo. Her kit is like pretty satisfying to use, especially when you get sticks, and her ult is probably one of the more fun ults in the game where you get to become a completely different character. Next, we have Genji. This is gonna ruffle some feathers. I think Genji... I'm gonna put Genji in S tier for myself. His shurikens are so satisfying. The fact that you have like a little sword that comes out. He's like kind of a weird combination of like melee attacks almost. But his swift strike is crazy. His knife that comes out. All of it. I really like Genji. I don't know. He's just the most fun to play. His character I've always wanted to be good on. I just got gold weapons for him. But I think Genji is probably one of the most satisfying characters to play. Although he's not really the best. I do think personally he is one of the most fun dps for sure all right we got hanzo next i think hanzo is pretty up there frankly if cassidy is going to be a tier hanzo is probably right there with him maybe cassidy shouldn't be a tier i have always liked archery and bows in pretty much any game that i've ever played hanzo however 
might rank a little lower because he can be very frustrating when you're not hitting shots. All right, Junkrat is a weird one. Junkrat's got to be pretty up there. For me, though, I think he's a lot similar to, like, kind of the Bastion category where, like, yeah, he's got this really kind of brain-dead kit that's, like, super easy. He's got a lot of personality, and it's a lot of fun, but he's one of those characters where I just don't like him or use him as much as you might think you should. I, I think I'm gonna go C tier. He is fun, but I never really find myself picking him, even when I have an opportunity to like have fun. There's probably certain game modes like Total Mayhem where Junkrat is probably sublime. All right, next up we got Thick Ice Lady May. <laughs> I enjoy me some may i think there's a lot of creativity in may with her ice wall placement i don't know i enjoy playing her more than most characters part of that is because she's good it's very satisfying to hit icicles it's fun to ice block and ice wall i'm gonna go with b i don't know she is one of my favorite characters but she can be frustrating missing icicles and whatnot but uh i would say a solid b tier definitely verging on a okay next we have farah farah seems like she's in this category of like the junk rats and the bastions she's just blowing stuff up and flying and it should be really cool and fun and op i don't know i rarely find myself playing farah she is pretty satisfying i would say more so than bastion so i'm gonna go ahead and put her in c tier again she doesn't really do that much for me it's just flying and blowing stuff up reaper i think reaper is gonna go have have to go B tier. I really like his shotguns. I like playing it a little close to the vest. He can be very satisfying when you're just in someone's face, just blasting away. And it's it feels good to be death, you know what I mean? The abilities kind of allow him to snake in and out of combat pretty well. And then his ult is also pretty fun to use. It's just a crazy AoE blowing shit up. So I'm gonna go with like a solid b tier right we have sojourn i think sojourn i think sojourn's got to be another b tier everything in b tier are all of my like solid picks of classes that i feel like i'm kind of good with that i enjoy playing but they're not like something i fantasize about playing if that makes sense Sojourn's ult and her railgun is incredibly satisfying, especially when you just like really get to hitting shots. And I also really like her slide, her disruptor shot. She's like what I want Soldier to be. So I'm gonna go at least a solid B tier. I really do enjoy her, but I don't find myself like giddy with fun. All right, and Soldier, I think, you know, if Sojourn's gonna be B tier, I think Soldier has to be kind of mid. I have been learning to play Soldier quite a lot. His aimbot ult is probably one of the more fun ults for sure. I mean, you just kind of go crazy, hold the trigger down and just auto lock on your enemies, which is pretty good. But other than that, He's pretty basic. Having sprint in Overwatch is nice too, but I don't know. C, pretty mid, doesn't do a whole lot for me. I know this one's gonna piss some people off, but we got Sombra. I'm throwing her right in A tier. Honestly, oh shit, she... Ooh, I might have to do S tier. Since her rework, she is a lot more viable. S tier might be a stretch, but considering I have played so much Sombra since the rework, I really am enjoying the crap out of her. I kind of decided I wanted to be good on her. She's very similar to like a rogue class that you might find in WoW. She's pretty up there. Translocating and being stealth allows you to creep in and just kind of jet out. Throwing her virus, I'll admit, is not the most fun. It is nice when you land a virus shot, especially from like a really long distance. And it's nice to have a dot. And her Uzi just like shreds now. Symmetra is a weird one for me. I have found that sometimes in Mystery Heroes, she is very satisfying to play in kind of a weird way. Setting up turrets and managing all of that. I really don't love her portal ability. I don't know how to use it very well. Her ult is very boring. You just create a giant wall. It's good, but it's not fun in the least. She's got to be like D tier to me. I, I really don't think she's all that fun. I, I almost never want to play Symmetra. Having some turrets just melt people feels good. 
but little Torbjorn is going to be in the same way. He's almost C tier. Not really. I almost never want to play Torbjorn. I think his abilities are a little more fun than like Symmetra and some of the other ones, but I, I don't I don't really like the auto turret classes. Even if they are like easy win button kind of characters. It's just not something that really appeals to me. Torb is entertaining because of his hammer. I like Molten Core. Tracer here. Tracer's got to be pretty up there. I'm going to say she's like B tier, which I think is pretty solid placement. Out of a lot of the B tier characters that I've listed so far, I probably play her the least. She's fun because she zips around the map and you just have like this extreme mobility. And I think when you're pretty creative, you can trick people quite a lot and really make a lot out of it. Her ult for me, like I get so frustrated using her ult and in general, she can be kind of a frustrating character to play. She's way more viable in Overwatch 2. I've never really felt like I've been super great on her, which I think holds her back from some of the higher tiers. Her playstyle is very fun, but it can leave you like almost dizzy. It's almost too fast paced sometimes. Ah, uh, it is Widowmaker time. Widowmaker, this is going to be a hard one. I think it's going to be like another solid B tier. She is the sniping class. Her abilities allow her to be a very good sniper. She has a little trap. I've always felt like traps and claymores and those kind of thing go well with snipers. And then she has her little web shot or whatever her grappling hook to take her to better sniper places. I like that her sniper doubles as an assault rifle for the same reason she can also be frustrating if you're not hitting shots. And there's nothing particularly amazing about her but sniping can be very satisfied within itself so probably b tier i would say she's more desirable to play than a lot of what i have in c tier all right we're almost done we just completed all the dps are you agreeing so far have i made you mad yet really this is a very subjective thing the things that i find fun are probably not gonna be the same thing you're finding fun but let's look at these supports all right we're starting off with anna i think anna is a very solidly fun character i might even go with b tier i've been playing her a lot and now that she's like really good just the fact that she is a healing sniper is pretty incredible it's like you want to snipe but you want to be a support <laughs> it's a pretty good deal i think especially if you really like sniping she can be very frustrating if you miss your sleep needle <laughs> Your anesthesia is it called is it called anesthesia? It should be in my opinion It's a little difficult to do a lot of healing as Anna, but that's just me That's my inexperience with her But I would say she's like a solid B just for the fact that she's a healing sniper. That's really cool Next is Baptiste Baptiste is a weird one I'm very torn between like B or C tier as far as his fun goes I'm probably leaning a little more to B tier you get the gun. He's like a healing soldier He's pretty great. Although none of his abilities are like supremely satisfying. Maybe if you throw down an immortality field and you get to save someone, shooting through his ult can be really nice. And just the fact that you like have a rifle that you can simultaneously use with like healing grenades is a pretty neat idea. Brigitte is a weird one. To me, that's like an immediate C. I think she's pretty good. I, I do like playing her a lot. Her flail is probably one of the most fun primary attacks in the game. And she's like a melee character that also heals while simultaneously smashing things, which is pretty cool. Still rarely feel myself inclined to play her that much. Ayari, I want to say is like a solid... I really want to put her in A tier. I really do. Now that she ha is kind of more balanced than she was, when she was broken, it was really fun to play her. And now that she's just a solid support, you know what? No, I'm going to put her in A because she is probably one of the most fun to play supports. What makes for a fun support is having offensive abilities that are satisfying like Baptiste and Moira and these kinds of things. And Ayari's gun is very nice. She's like barely an A tier. She is one of my favorite characters out right now. All right, Kiriko, Kiriko the fox lady. We got to see her on that bike. 
sorry, she's gonna be an S tier for me. Her primary, her cards, her tarot cards that she throws out to heal are really interesting. It takes some getting used to, but I just think they're cool. They're kind of satisfying to use. The kunai is so satisfying. You just throw out these crazy little darts, and I really like just her hands and the way that she uses her weapons is really amazing. I I enjoy it. It makes me feel like a really cool ninja lady. The fact that she can kind of teleport right to her teammates is pretty epic. I think that is kind of a fun ability because you can really get out of things very easily and you can kind of just show up anywhere on the map. So that super high mobility is nice. And then Kitsune Rush is a crazy ability. It's very fun. You just explode and, and 10x everything and start throwing out kunais and throwing out all your stuff super quickly so i would say she's pretty damn fun life weaver is gonna be a weird one for me i'm thinking i think i might have to put him as like a c tier he's very good but his primary heal kind of takes a while to charge up and it can be very sketchy and sweaty sometimes his pull is very cool i do enjoy his pull and having the little platform that raises up is really fun the platform is probably his his most fun ability his funnest most funnable and then his ult is not super fun but it's very good and being able to pull people can be cool and fun but at the same time i find myself using it very rarely because it's so annoying it's so annoying to get grabbed by life weaver like sometimes he can save your life and it's great but it's so annoying lucio is next and you know what i think lucio's got to be pretty high i think i might go with a tier actually lucio is probably one of the more fun supports to play especially because he can wall ride he can speed boost he can help your team out and he's relatively passive as far as his healing so it does kind of reach a point where it's like there's only so much that i can actually do to heal you so as long as my aura is up and i've used my amplify or whatever it is that's all i can really do you just have to keep close to me he definitely has the best feeling boop out of uh, that's that sounds weird best feeling boop he's got the best feeling boop and it's great to knock sons of bitches off i think the boop puts him in a tier for sure all right mercy mercy is a really good character but i have to be honest i want to put her as like a d tier which i think might irritate some people uh, she might be a c tier but keep in mind this is fun we're talking about nothing about her other than the fact that she's flying around which can also feel really good like the flying is the best part and that can can feel awesome but it's it's not really enough to make her a super fun or exhilarating character to play i do find myself wanting to learn mercy more and she is very good next we have moira moira is one of my mains as she is actually my main and honestly i'm tempted to put her in s tier there's a few things that keep her out of s tier for me i think her beam which is her ult not quite as fun as it once was it's awesome to have a big kamehameha beam that you just spray on everybody and it is good because you can just like aim it at a mob that's fighting and heal a bunch of people up it's cool because she's kind of got this balance between healing and damage and that's what makes her really satisfying to play i don't think she's quite as fun fun as some of these other s tier characters all right and this is a strange one finally we have zenyatta now zenyatta i think he might have to be a c tier zenyatta is not super fun charging up his orbs and blasting someone can feel amazing and can be fun especially when you get some like cheap kills his kick which kicks and knocks people back is of course another boop which is always fun but his ult is lacking and then his actual heal it's really lame. You just throw an orb on someone and they get healed. I don't know. He's pretty mid-range. I do enjoy him. I like him, but I don't know. Not that fun. All right, let's review our list a little bit. We might do some modifications. Is looking pretty accurate for what I like to play. One thing I'm noticing about this 
top tier for me is I think I like mobility a lot. <laughs> mobility is pretty satisfying to me. So being able to kind of creep around and high mobility is something that I think I equate to fun. Cassidy and Hanzo, I don't know. They might not actually be A tier as far as fun goes. Actually, and Junker Queen's getting moved up. Junker Queen is more fun than these C tiers. A lot of these like more basic classes are just not that fun to me, mainly because they're kind of like stuff you can find in another shooter. D tier, Sigma, I don't know, I feel bad having Sigma in D tier because I like Sigma. Sigma is probably one of my most played tanks and I do like him, but I can't say he's like super fun. He was a lot of fun when he first came out, but Bastion is pretty boring. I really don't love him. Symmetra's boring, Torb's boring. So I think we can definitely see a trend there where it's like these more basic classes are, are lame. You know what? I think Bastion, Symmetra, and Torb could actually go E tier and D tier would be like Sigma and Mercy. Cause these guys like, I do like playing them and they are good. And then these guys are like genuinely kind of boring. And then Zarya, I don't know. I just don't like Zarya. I'm being a, a bit of a bully there. I don't think she really really deserves F tier. I think that's pretty solid. What did I get right? What did I get wrong? I want to hear your opinion. Who is in the wrong place on this list? Let me know. Who would you rank higher? Who would be lower? And uh, I don't know. Did I make you hate me? Thank you so much for watching. This has been an Overwatch fun tier list, and I will see you later, gamers. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and you want to see more gaming videos. We love to talk about gaming here, and we're going to make gaming videos to the end of time. I'll see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, let me know how much you hate me for my opinions. I'll see you later, gamers.